who sees what in your app not only secures sensitive information, but also simplifies user experience by preventing information overload. This tutorial covers setting and managing visibility in Nolico. First, we'll cover the basics of setting visibility rules, which are essential for securing your app's content. Enter the edit mode in your Nolico app to start making changes to your visibility settings. Next, you would open the page you want to manage and open the visibility settings to set up access restrictions. Following that, specify which roles should have access to this folder. In our case, we're making it only accessible to users with the sales rep role. Custom visibility rules leverage specific user attributes to fine tune access, offering even greater flexibility and security. Next, we're going to show you how to create and verify custom visibility rules providing precise access based on specific user attributes. Navigate to the visibility settings of the page you want to customize. Next, you would enter the conditions for your custom rule. Here, we specify that only users named RE can view this page. Now, test your new rules by previewing the app as different users to ensure they work as expected. Choose a user who fits the role conditions you've set up for your visibility rules. Next, you would Switch to preview mode to see the app from the perspective of the selected user. This is how you ensure that your settings are correctly applied. Now, what if you want to exclude certain users from viewing a page? That's perfectly doable in Nolico. Let's dive into using visibility settings to exclude certain roles from accessing specific pages, enhancing the targeted delivery of content within your app. Go to the page or folder you want to adjust and open the visibility settings to begin setting exclusions. Next, you would specify which roles should be excluded from accessing this page. For example, let's exclude the sales rep role from viewing the manager view. And that's it. We've covered setting basic visibility rules and implementing custom conditions. You're now all set to make your NoLoco app more secure. See you in the next tutorial.